We are living in extraordinary times. Once again humanity sets its sights on the stars. A new space race is upon us, more ambitious and consequential than ever before. This is not just about national pride, this is about the future of our species. The cosmos beckons, filled with mysteries and possibilities. Will we answer the call? Will we unlock the secrets of the universe? The answers to these questions depend on the choices we make today. The decisions we make now will determine the course of human history for generations to come. This is our opportunity to become a multi-planetary species, to secure our future beyond Earth. It's a challenge worthy of our greatest minds and our boldest aspirations. Let's rise to the occasion. America has a proud history of space exploration. We were the first to land a man on the moon. We explored the outer solar system with Voyager. We built the International Space Station, a testament to international collaboration. But our dominance is being challenged. A new competitor has emerged, hungry for success and willing to push the boundaries of what's possible. This competitor is China. They have been making incredible strides in space, rapidly catching up to America's capabilities. The spirit of exploration is in our DNA, but that spirit must be nurtured, encouraged, and set free. We need to reignite the passion that took us to the moon, the drive that pushed us to explore the unknown. The universe awaits and we must be ready to meet its challenges. Enter SpaceX, a beacon of innovation in the private sector. Founded by Elon Musk, SpaceX aims to revolutionize space travel, making it more affordable and accessible. They have achieved remarkable feats from reusable rockets to launching astronauts to the International Space Station. However, SpaceX faces a formidable obstacle course here on Earth bureaucracy. Regulations, outdated and slow, hinder their progress at every turn. The Federal Aviation Administration, tasked with ensuring safety, often becomes a bottleneck, delaying launches and stifling innovation. These delays are costly both in terms of money and time. Every launch scrubbed, every delay adds up. While SpaceX navigates the labyrinth of regulations, China surges ahead unburdened by such constraints. China has made no secret of its space ambitions. They are investing heavily in their space program, with a clear vision for the future. In recent years, they have achieved several milestones, including landing a rover on Mars and establishing their own space station. Their approach is methodical, strategic, and relentless. While the U.S. grapples with bureaucratic hurdles, China forges ahead, building infrastructure in space and conducting groundbreaking research. Their space program is a testament to their long-term vision and commitment to technological dominance. The Chinese dragon is awakened, and it has set its sights on the heavens. They are not playing catch-up, they are aiming for leadership in space. A tale of two approaches, bureaucracy versus boldness. The contrast between the U.S. and China's approach to space exploration is stark and telling. The U.S., once the undisputed leader in space exploration, is now hampered by its own bureaucracy, which often leads to delays and inefficiencies. The FAA, while well-intentioned and focused on safety, operates at a pace that is out of sync with the rapid advancements in space technology. This slow pace can stifle innovation and delay critical projects. China, on the other hand, has adopted a more streamlined and efficient approach to space exploration. They have a clear and cohesive national strategy for space exploration, with strong and unwavering support from the government at all levels. This centralized approach allows for quicker decision-making and swift implementation of projects, minimizing delays. They are not afraid to take calculated risks, to push the boundaries of technology and human ingenuity, and to venture into the unknown. This difference in approach is evident in the pace of their progress and the milestones they achieve. While the U.S. is still grappling with regulatory hurdles and bureaucratic red tape, China is launching missions, deploying satellites and building infrastructure in space at an impressive rate. The contrast is a clear indicator of how different strategies can lead to vastly different outcomes in the race for space exploration. Section 6. The Stakes, More Than National Pride The new space race is about more than just national pride. It's about economic prosperity, technological advancement, and the future of humanity. The competition to explore and colonize space is fierce, with nations and private companies alike vying for dominance. The nation that leads in space will control the high ground of the 21st century. Space exploration fosters innovation, leading to new technologies that benefit society as a whole. These advancements are not just limited to space, but have far-reaching impacts on our daily lives. From GPS to weather forecasting, these technologies have become integral to our modern world. From telecommunications to medical imaging, the innovations derived from space research are countless and invaluable. 
The spin-offs from space exploration are countless, driving progress in various fields. Moreover, the resources of space, such as asteroid mining, offer untapped potential. These resources hold the potential to revolutionize our economy, providing new materials and energy sources, and solve some of our most pressing problems. But perhaps most importantly, space exploration is about inspiring future generations. It's about igniting the spark of curiosity, the thirst for knowledge, and the desire to push the boundaries of human achievement. By looking to the stars, we encourage young minds to dream big and pursue careers in science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. The future of space exploration holds endless possibilities, and it is up to us to seize them for the betterment of all humanity. Section 7. The Future of Humanity, A Spacefaring Civilization Imagine a future where humanity is no longer confined to Earth. A future where we have settlements on the Moon and Mars. A future where we mine asteroids for resources and harness the power of the Sun to fuel our civilization. This is the potential that space exploration holds. By venturing into space we are not turning our backs on Earth, we are ensuring the survival of our species. We are learning to solve problems that affect us here on Earth such as climate change and resource depletion. We are expanding our horizons, pushing the boundaries of human knowledge, and unlocking the secrets of the universe. This is not science fiction, this is the future within our grasp. Section 8. Cutting through the red tape, a call for reform. The U.S. needs to act decisively to maintain its leadership in space. We need to streamline our regulatory framework, making it more adaptable to the rapid pace of innovation in the private sector. The FAA needs to be empowered to make decisions more efficiently, without compromising on safety. We also need to increase funding for NASA, empowering them to pursue ambitious missions and maintain their position as a global leader in space exploration. We need to invest in STEM education, inspiring the next generation of scientists, engineers and astronauts. The time for complacency is over, the future of space exploration is being written right now, and the US must decide what role it wants to play. Section 9. Inspiring the Next Generation of Explorers The new space race is not just a competition between nations, it's a global endeavor that transcends borders and unites humanity in a common goal. It's also a competition for the hearts and minds of the next generation. We must capture their imagination and fuel their curiosity. We need to inspire young people to dream big, to look beyond the confines of our planet and envision a future among the stars to study science and engineering, to delve into the mysteries of the universe and seek answers to the unknown, and to pursue careers in STEM fields. These fields are the backbone of our future space endeavors. We need to show them that anything is possible, that with determination and hard work, they can achieve the extraordinary, that the sky is not the limit when there are footprints on the moon. The moon landings are a testament to human ingenuity and perseverance. We need to tell them the stories of the pioneers who came before us, the trailblazers who paved the way for modern space exploration, the men and women who dared to dream of reaching for the stars. Their legacy is a beacon of inspiration for future generations. We need to reignite that sense of wonder, that innate curiosity that drives us to explore the unknown, that spirit of discovery that has always driven humanity forward. It is this spirit that will propel us to new frontiers. The future of space exploration depends on our ability to inspire the next generation, to equip them with the knowledge and skills they need, to ignite within them the passion to explore, to discover and to push the boundaries of what is possible, and to reach for the stars. The journey to the stars begins with a single step, and that step starts with inspiring the youth of today. Section 10. Conclusion The race is on. The new space race is on, the stakes are high, the challenges are great, but the rewards are even greater. The US has a choice to make. We can cling to the past, burdened by bureaucracy and indecision, or we can embrace the future, unleashing the power of innovation and determination. The cosmos awaits. Let's go!